so this is one of the questions which many of the students are asking from me. Uh, it is from October November 19, paper 1, 2 and question number 34. Uh, it is from the topic of DC circuits. So let's do this. Two cells with electromotive forces E1 and E2 <coughs> and internal resistances R1 and R2 are connected to a resistor R as shown. So you have uh, two EMF sources and you have an external resistor. The terminal potential difference across cell 1 is 0. That means that the terminal potential difference, that is the potential difference apart from this, right, from here to here is 0, right. Which expression gives the resistance of the resistor R? So you have to use uh, this information that the terminal potential difference across cell 1 is 0 and you have to apply Kirchhoff's law here, right? Kirchhoff's second law, uh, which states that, that the sum of EMF is equivalent to the sum of potential drop across the circuit. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to write here, since it has stated that cell 1 has terminal potential difference that is 0, so I would write here like this. So I have E1 minus I, which is the current in the circuit, right? R1, that is equal to 0. Because the general equation is like this. If you have a, if you have a cell like this, and you have this internal resistor here, and you have an external resistor like this, then the equation that forms is something like this. Right. So this is the external resistor. The, the equation for this is E, that is the EMF, minus IR, that is the potential drop across the internal resistor, that is equal to the terminal potential difference, that is the potential difference across this resistor R, that is VR, right? So here it has stated already that the potential difference is, uh, the terminal potential difference is zero. So I have this equation that is E1 is equal to IR1. My next step would be to form an equation using Kirchhoff's law. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from here. I'm going to traverse it like this. And the basic rule is that if you start from here, from the negative terminal, you take the value of EMF positive, right? And if you're traversing in the direction of the current, if you're traversing in the direction of the current, then you'll take uh, the potential drop across the resistors as positive as well. Let's see what I'm going to do. So I'm, I'm going to start with here, right? This is going to be E2. Again, this is negative, so I'm going to write here plus E1. So this is the sum of the EMFs, right, of the entire circuit. That is equivalent to what? That is equivalent to IR2 plus IR1 plus IR, right? And then what I'll get is that since E1 is IR1, this would be cancelled out right away. <coughs> the resulting equation is E2 is equivalent to IR2 plus IR, right? And we have to find the expression that gives the resistance R. So I'm going to make R the subject and I'm going to do some mathematical manipulation here. I have uh, E2 minus IR2 over I, which is equal to R, right? Now you can see in the options here that there is no current. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this equation to my advantage, this one. This equation to my advantage. And I'm going to substitute the value of I here in terms of E1 and R1. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here I'm going to write here that E1 is equal to IR1, right? So I have I is equal to E1 over R1. And I'm, then I'm going to substitute it here. This is going to be E2 minus, this is E1 over R1 into R2, right? Over E1 over R1, right? Then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this R1 as an LCM, right? So I have this expression E2 R1 
minus e1 r2 divided by r1 multiplied by this r1 is going to go upstairs right since I'm going to divide this, so when I, t I when I multiply, this is going to come upstairs and this is going to come downstairs, right? Like this. E1. This R1 cancels with this R1. And my final answer is E2 R1 minus E1 R2 over E1. So this answer is for R and this answer corresponds to option A. So this is how you'll solve this question. It was a very good question, which uh, had uh, the concept of both terminal potential difference and Kirchhoff.